Welcome back, everybody, to GWB. I'm Wes. And I'm Tyler. And this week, we're going to go ahead and dive into a little bit of an arts and crafts time. We have been wanting to do this for a very long time. Even whenever we started doing the mags and trying to get the different textures on the mags, we really wanted to dabble in spray painting our rifles. And we've watched lots of videos. We've watched Garantham do it. But this man right here was adamant on starting it, started practicing how to do it, and now we're finally here. How you feeling, buddy? I'm, I'm, I'm excited, man. Like, it, it's, I'm so tired of looking of just a wall of black. <laughs> this is, everything is black. I'm, I'm ready for some color. All right, well, I mean, you do have a color mag on there, but, and, you know, we're gonna go ahead and dabble right more. into it. I mean, we're gonna go ahead and start with a base coat of this gray right here. Um, what kind is it? It's a... How do you pronounce that? Chiron? Krylon. Krylon. All right, so Krylon Fusion, um, Matt Glacier Gray. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. And then we're gonna go ahead and dabble with a metallic dark copper, the same brand, pretty much the same brand all the way around. And then as a nice light little dusting, whenever we add, you're gonna add leaves to yours, right? Oh yeah. Okay, yep, yep, yep. so he's gonna add leaves. I'm adding some nice speckles, make it look like you know a night sky maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but we're gonna do a metallic oil rubbed bronze. Oh, that's bronze, not even black. All right. Oh, something different. That's something different, I like it. I colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be that way. Oh, jeez. All right, so first off, we have to go ahead and lay the base coat, right? So we're gonna start with the gray, yep. lay the base coat. We'll probably have to do a couple different coats just to get it on there really nice. We've taped everything off that we feel we you know, don't wanna get anything in the action, don't wanna get anything in the trigger. So everything has been taped off, even sights. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down some base coats and then we'll do the bron the this bronze, right? Yeah, I think so the, um, we're doing right. ours a little bit different. So after the base coat, we're kind of going two different roads. All right. But um, guys, this isn't a video on how to paint shit. No. Nope. It's not. Um, so we're not trying to teach anybody anything. So if we're wrong, just let us be wrong, man. Paint your rifle however the way you feel. We did the bare minimum. We did wipe it down with um, uh, some bar clean, just some, just get all of the extra oil, all the extra shit that's on the rifle, get that off, nice clean stuff. We didn't go as far as like sanding anything down or anything. It's it's not supposed to be a perfect paint job. Well, and so. this is the first time that we're actually doing this. I Absolutely. know you've practiced on some cardboard boxes and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. this is the first time that we're officially dabbling into this. And one of the other things we want to dabble into is probably going to be hydro dipping at some point. So go ahead and look for that video here soon too. 10-4. Let's get in it. All right. Sorry about the interruption in today's broadcast, but I wanted to let you guys know about our new affiliate, Legal Heat. They're a one-stop shop for concealed weapon classes and all kinds of legal knowledge. Guys, we have been using Legal Heat even before we can even own guns. On their free app, you can browse all their products, do-it-yourself fingerprint kits, 50-state reference guides to all the laws and regulations occurring up to date. There's also in person conceal weapon class training and even some online class training how about that guys we highly and i mean highly recommend legal heat guys and in the description below you will see our link to legal heat and use our code gwb tactical at checkout to get 10 percent off update your skills and knowledge today now, now back, back to, to the video. video all right so guys the the basic idea of this is to get a couple layers on here you don't want to go too thick your first coat Mac out a couple different layers. Don't go anything too hard. You don't want to gum up all your actions and all your switches and everything. That's not the point. You don't want to like super soak your rifle on the first two coats or so. Just go slow, go light, take your time.
So I am gonna go ahead and do the same color scheme as Tyler, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the darkest color first because I'm going for the night sky look. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with this dark oil rub bronze. And then we'll do the gray at the end to make it look like stars. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so again, this really isn't a tutorial or anything. I'm just kind of showing you the technique that I decided to go with. I, I can't remember the exact video that I got this from. Um, I'll go back and we'll put it in the comment section or something like that or down below. But um, so basically we're just gonna do stripes. But my, init my initial pass is gonna be a little bit darker and then I'm gonna expand my stripe and just kind of mist it. That way it's not like a harsh line compared to this lighter color but um that's just kind of the technique that i'm going with i know wes is going a different direction but this is how i'm doing mine All right, so Tyler's gone and finished up probably his about second to last coat. He's got about one more to go. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my stars for the night sky on my rifle. It's just, you know pretty much exactly what I'm going for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this matte glacier gray. And I'm gonna use these bristles right here from one of the shop rooms to go ahead and give a nice little splatter all over the rifle. Give it some nice unique dots all over it. And hopefully it'll come out right. Again, this is our first time doing it. So leave us uh, some comments in the comment section how you guys feel about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the paint in the cup and get started. All right guys, so Wesley just finished up his last little bit. So the only thing I'm gonna do now to break this up just even more is just some foliage from my surroundings, just whatever I got outdoors. 
And we're just gonna go through and just barely put a couple mist on this. See what that does for us? That looks pretty dark. All right guys, welcome back. We have let these cure for about a week now just to make sure that the paint was sitting on there perfectly. There's not gonna be no smudging, no nothing. And we're so happy with these right now. We do have some qualms about it, but we wanna get into the really nitty gritty of the positive things that we have so far. Tyler, how are you feeling about your gun? I feel really good about it. Um, there's a couple things that I think I probably would have done better next time. But um, like I said, in the, the whole beginning of this thing, this was a quick spur of the moment, quick thing to do. We just got kind of bored in a way. Um, this really was never supposed to be a tutorial or anything like that. Um, as far as our goals, I think I accomplished my goal. I did go for a more camo look. Um, I didn't go for, you know, the traditional colors, khaki, ground, brown, green, or OD or anything like that. Went a little bit different direction, but the camo look was still achieved. Um, I'm really happy with the way it came out. It broke up the pattern of the rifle pretty well. So the goal of it, like you said, wasn't to be typical wasn't to just have normal colors he went with a, a really nice camo pattern and i kind of wish i would have gone that route but at the same time i went with the bronze it's a little bit shiny for my liking but it's got the the paint splattering on it um all around i think it looks great i you know hit all the all the sides everything looks like it came out perfectly i think the only thing i would probably change is that i taped off the sights a little bit wonky. So now there's like a line where I can tell where I had actually put yeah. tape on. So it definitely throws off my eyes a little bit and maybe actually getting a grip that I could have painted instead of this rubberized one. But all around, it's still working perfectly. It didn't gum up any of the, the action or the mechanisms or anything like that. And it's still working true. It just has a different paint job now. <laughs> So I think the, the number one thing that I kind of realized after the fact was um, the type of paint that we use, we, we did try to use, you know, pretty higher quality paint. We ended up using Krylon. I know there's better stuff out there, but um, my issue was I used like a, like a bronze sparkle based looking kind of spate. It's almost metallic in a way, but I put that on over top of flat paint. So what I noticed was a lot of that sparkle material in it kind of just stuck to the other layers of the paint. Now granted, it did stick and it kind of gave it a cool texture almost, but um, as far as the actual pattern that I was trying to go for, it really didn't work. But um, I think that's probably one of the only things I would have done different. Um, the only other thing other than that, I think would be, I have a SBA-3 uh, brace on the uh, back of this rifle, pistol. Um, it is rubbery, so it's gonna move and torque and twist with all your movements and everything, and I didn't really consider that, so I know while I'm going to brace this thing up against my cheek, or maybe if I even just kinda lay, let it touch my shoulder just a little bit, it's gonna bend and maybe crack off a lot of that paint. Um, this was not supposed to be a high quality paint job. I do understand that it's gonna get scratched up and buffed and stuff like that. We do run our guns actually kinda hard, so, it's also a lower quality rifle. I wouldn't have done this with like a Daniel Defense or something <laughs> like that by any means, but um, something cheap just to kind of, for us to try out. Um, like I said, the kind of the process that we started, we just went through, kind of put on a couple little base layers. Um, I actually ended up going with actually two or three different colors. Wesley kind of stuck with the two color pattern. But um, I think as far as, uh, I've seen a lot of guys, they went even a little bit further and took out all their, their safety mechanisms, their trigger, all that good stuff, the uh, mag release or the bolt release and stuff like that. Um, I think for as in-depth as I went, I didn't have to do anything like that. Everything still works good. There's no problems with the functionality of the rifle or anything. Everything still works the way that it's supposed to. Um, other than that, just from a completely black, plain rifle, I dig the way it looks. And I, I think, think it uh, looks pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, it's, it's got definitely- some Got some COD yes, uh, vibes to it for sure. <laughs> and it's definitely like the way that it turned out and the way that it's color schemed and everything, 
I mean, yes, the colors I would probably, you know, change on a future rifle, but the way that you patterned it out to me looks so cool. And to be able to see you do it and to kind of see where mine is and the way yours turned out, yours is more of what I wish I would have gone with. Gotcha. Just because of that was the main goal of what we were doing. So, you know, this is just future fuel to be able to do this again you know we had a little bit of a a break in period a little bit of a training with this one just to see how it would do and i think now going into it i'll definitely do another rifle you know maybe throwing in some od green maybe mixing up some colors then you know to really blend in with the environment but this was a great beginning to something that i think that we're going to be able to continue to do with rifles and continue to perfect as we go absolutely there's really no right or wrong way if you're going with a camo uh, pattern. Um, Wesley went with a different style, different look, so everything here is subjective. It's what you want your rifle to look like. Um, if you are trying to go for more of a, a camo pattern, if you're trying to break up your uh, rifle in the environment that you're in, study your environment. Look at where you're at, look at where you're gonna be. Uh, we're here in Florida, it's a rainy, pissy ass day here in Tampa. So uh, everything right now in the very end of summer, super green, everything's super lush. Um, once we start going into the main swing of the winter time a little bit, it's gonna be more brown. A lot of the grass is gonna be dead, not for a long time, but it's something con to consider if you're actually trying to break up the, uh, the look of your rifle in the environment that you're operating in for sure. Well, and if you have multiple rifles, paint them in multiple different, you know, paint one in one color, one in the other, so that you always have a battle rifle. You don't have to sit to one color for one gun. And that's kind of the beauty of what we did is we took two completely different rifles and we painted them however we wanted and just had fun with it and just got after it. You know, his is gonna blend in with more of a, a rustic environment. Mine's more of just for show at this point and that's perfectly <laughs> fine, but if you guys saw anything throughout the video that you enjoyed, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below because we would love to hear it. We'd love to hear some positive feedback, even if you got some negative things that, you know, you don't like the color, I, you know, whatever, there's always next time. But we love all the feedback that we get. We have reels on Instagram. We've got stuff going on Facebook and TikTok and we've got all kinds of social media content. And if you wanna get all that social media content in the description below, we'll actually have a link tree that will take you to everything that we do. And you can click on any of the links and you can go ahead and explore. Like I said, guys, go down to the comment section below and let us know what we did right. Let us know all the tips and tricks that you use for y'all's own personal rifle. Um, if you've had anything come up that was detrimental, if you got paint in the bad spot or whatever, something that ended up becoming detrimental, let us know so we can look out for that in our future rifles and stuff like that. Other than that, you got anything else, Wes? Yeah, so, you know, like I said, this is just practice. We're gonna do some more of these and you can check out pictures of behind the scenes of stuff that we, you know, we're doing along the process, some of the B-rolls, like he said, but also we're getting into doing more stuff like this. This is going to not be the first time we do this, but we're also trying to get into hydro dipping. So Jose, just as a, a prelude for, you know, future videos, Jose did hydro dip, you know, something for the first time. And maybe we'll get some pictures of that, put it out there as a beginning process for that. So there's lots of stuff coming. There's tons of stuff that we're trying to do. We're, you know, we're tinkering with a bunch of stuff. This is just for our own fun, but also to create content for you guys out there. And always remember guys, who's, who's got, got your six? six?